Now let's paint this gate. So this is the most difficult thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is make an orangey colour using yellow ochre and red like this. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to highlight where the light is hitting this object. So I really am doing my best now to follow the lines of this shape. With natural objects I'm not so careful, I'm not so super concerned, but with this man-made object it's so important to get it right because if I get it wrong it's really going to show. And now I'm going to make a, a purplish mix and put a little touch of yellow into it like that to grey it off. Okay and here we go. And then I'm blending that into this orange Now a round brush is probably better than this bamboo brush but the reason why I've chosen this as my third favourite brush is because it's more expressive than a round brush. You can make more kinds of marks like bushes and trees and rough edges with this brush than with a round brush. It's very expressive. But for something like this, where you really need a lovely clean edge, a round brush might be the better choice. Although saying that, this is a very good brush and it has got a very fine point on it. So, and as you can see, it's so far, it's going quite well and uh, soon I need to uh, change the colour again and make it even darker perhaps as we go down maybe a thicker mix yeah it can be sometimes a little bit of a nerve-wracking process You're having to be so careful. Okay, I quite like that. And then stronger. So lots of red, I mean blue then red <laughs> and then this yellow. Let's mix that up, add some water I've got a bit of a hair on the paper not a bit of one, it's a hair but it's okay, it's not such a big problem and it's probably best just to leave it. Okay, so you notice it's not a perfect technique but you might notice how I start inside the shape and then slowly work towards the edges. It doesn't always work, but it, I think it's about the safest, safest, safest technique you can use. Okay, now I think I'm quite happy with that. Whoops. It's a 
tiny bit that comes out there okay so there we go I might just spray it so don't spray at it spray above and let the drops come down and if this has a bit of texture to it that's great it'll make it look more like concrete or stone okay so the next thing is the uh, grass of this bank so yellow ochre then get some blue mix it up a bit darker too much okay ah oh, that's pretty good add a little bit of water and then I want to splay these hairs like this and then I'm going to do this now maybe a little bit more yellow okay there we go oh lovely and it comes down here there we go and yeah maybe it looks a bit bluish but there we go um, let's continue and then I'm going to darken this here shadow So you don't want too, too much of an even line. A little, but undulating, this shadowy line. You want it going up and down a little. Now, I thought these rocks were going to intersect with this grassy bank, but... But I'm not sure if, it's really, if that's really happening. Okay, maybe a little there, okay, so that's good, let's spray again, keep it wet and workable, and now I'm going to do the river shadow, so I'm going to make a grey mix, so it's basically all three colours, blue, red, come on red, then some yellow, there we go some water and here we go so I have to be careful not to paint over these rocks okay and then I'm going to spray it one more time quite like how that looks and then just leave it for a moment and then do the other grassy bank here now splay these hairs so we get this rough texture and again they soon all come back together so and again yeah I think that looks better than this I needed to make this top look a little bit more dramatic than it is I mean it's okay but look at that that's that's even more exciting isn't it look at that that's great and maybe this green comes down a little bit more than I've done it so I'm mixing that up okay and then oh yeah I've done this now it's for the blue whoops this is really my water mix but it's okay 
it will work for both okay here we go let's do some shadow not shadow reflection for this oh, I can do a nice reflection there and a few lines ideally you want them straight that one bent a bit oh dear okay yes okay and then let's spray that uh, it's not too bad and then I want a super thick mix of all colors my blue my red my yellow and there it is and then I'm going to do just a few little dark bits here and look how dark that looks it's amazing you think you're dealing with a dark color and then it's amazing how you can make an even darker one much much darker but that's good it gives us that variety and here we go here too yeah I like that 